Hi everyone, welcome to Dentizen. Here you can see picture of periodontal ligament. Ligament that surrounds the tooth is made up of fibers, cells, blood vessels, nerves. What are all these structures doing here? Fibers, they help in providing attachment to the cementum of the tooth with the surrounding bone. Also, they help in providing support to the tooth during function. How? Whenever the forces are there, these fibers transfer those forces onto the surrounding bone. What are cells doing here? Formative cells form structures of PDL and resorptive cells destroy structures of PDL. So there is always a balance between formation and resorption. And this balance is called homeostasis. Now blood vessels in PDL provide nutrition, nerves provide sensory function. Also, the fibroblast cells in the PDL, they have contractile property. They can contract and they can generate forces which can help in the eruption of the tooth. So that is another function that is eruptive function of PDL. Now, there is one interesting function which is called physical. That means the pro it protects the blood vessels and nerves whenever the forces are there. These forces are transferred into the bone with the help of these fibers so this type of function of the pdl is called shock absorption where it prevents the impact of these heavy forces so we can say that there are six functions of the periodontal ligament and it can come as a short note for your theory exam so let's see how to write for your exam before starting quickly subscribe to dentos and also give a like to this video as i keep making such interesting videos for you so how many functions six the first one is supportive function that is provided by the fibers, principal fibers of PDL. Second is homeostasis balance is maintained by cells. Third is eruptive forces are generated by PDL. Fourth is nutritive that is blood provided by the blood vessels. Fifth is sensory that is by the nerves. And the last one is physical that is it acts as shock absorber. Now let's see the details. First one, support. Whenever the masticatory load or orthodontic forces are there, that is you put braces on the teeth to straighten them to give beautiful smile to your patient. What is happening under these forces? A part of PDL will compress, whereas another part of PDL will widen. Now let's see what is happening in the compressed part, which is narrowed down. The fibers will get compressed along with the water molecules. There are other molecules there and the blood vessels with the pressure inside them. So all these structures in this compressed region, they act as cushion for the loaded tooth that is the, the tooth which is under forces so all these structures they provide support to this tooth which is under pressure which is under the force now what is happening in the other area that is in the widened pdl so here as you can see that collagen fibers they extend to the limit now they are not elastic they cannot extend anymore also their end is inside the cementum of the tooth so they will also not allow cementum to move so they prevent the tooth to move too far so it is believed that periodontal ligament acts as suspensory ligament that is it suspends the tooth in that position it fixes the tooth whenever the load is there the fibers come in tension and they transfer this force into onto the bone so it is because of the tension in the fibers and when the load is removed the tension is gone so elastic recoil of these tissues will happen the tissues will go back to their normal form and the tooth will recover in the resting stage so this entire concept says that the support to the tooth during function is provided because of the tension which is created in principal fibers and this theory is called tensional theory but this is not accepted theory why because it is believed that periodontal ligament is not a suspensory ligament then how the pdl provides support there is another theory which says that pdl can act can show a property which is called hysteresis that means it can show elastic behavior especially by the blood vessels in the pdl as you can see here so whenever the forces are there the blood from these vessels come out and go into the surrounding bone let's see how it happens so the blood vessels the blood comes out from the pdl and it goes into the surrounding bone into the marrow spaces of the bone how it goes there through these holes in the plate of the bone bone that is called cribriform plate of the bone and through this cribriform plate the blood is squeezed out of the pdl and because of that what will happen the fibers in that pdl will tighten and the forces are transmitted again when the blood will come back then again the tissues will come back to their normal position so we can say that this is happening primarily by vasculature mainly by the blood vessels and fibers have secondary role in providing the support and these tissues showing elastic property so this theory is called viscoelastic theory the recent biochemical analysis have revealed that ground substance in the pdl gel 
also can show aggregation that is particles coming together and disaggregation particles going away so this change in this gel structure can also help in the support of the tooth during function so support function of pdl can be explained by three theories first theory says that whenever the forces are there they create tension in the principal fibers they transmit these forces to bone and this is called tensional theory not accepted other theory says that forces causes movement of the fluid out of the blood spaces in the pdl into the marrow spaces of the bone that is primarily and secondary effect is shown by the fibers and these tissues are showing the elastic properties so this is called viscoelastic theory and it is accepted theory third theory says that periodontal ligament can act as gel like when the forces are there and can go back to semi solid state when the forces are removed this theory is called thixotropic theory but this theory is also not accepted because periodontal ligament is not a gel it has fibers beautiful principal fibers as well so these are the three theories tensional and thixotropic are not accepted and viscoelastic is the accepted second function homeostasis now this is maintained by the cells like the synthetic cells which are fibroblasts which forms fibers osteoblasts form bone cementoblasts form cementum and the resorptive cells that is which destroy these structures here as you can see multinucleated cells so the synthesis and and resorption both processes keeps on happening continuously and it is seen that the synthesis and resorption of the collagen fibers of the periodontal ligament is happening at a very fast rate that is so much fast that the collagen turnover of pdl is fastest of all the body connective tissues so pdl is unique that is fibers are forming getting destroyed forming getting destroyed so this rate is very very high in the pdl so we can say that the pdl width is maintained by these two processes formation and resorption and this process this function is called homeostasis so old cells are dying and new cells are replacing them now 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 what if there are heavy forces on the tooth what will happen then the pdl in that region will think that my tooth needs my support to transfer these forces so it will thicken in that area so that is called periodontal thickening increased functional stress is called thickening of pdl which can be seen on radiograph as increased space widened pdl space widened radiolucent area on the radiograph now if op it happens you are not using the teeth in on one side of your mouth what will happen your pdl will think that my teeth do not need me so it will reduce so there will be thinning of the pdl so loss of function insufficient stimulation causes pdl thinning and on radiograph it is seen as reduction in this space now there can be many conditions when this disturbance between this balance can happen so let's see few conditions one is osteoclast defect that is osteoclast cell which resorbs the bone if that is defective what will happen it will not resorb the bone bone will keep on forming keep on forming and it will join the cementum of the tooth without pdl so no pdl is there and this type of joint where the bone is directly attached to the tooth cementum is called ankylosis and such ankylosed teeth will not show eruption will lack eruption why because they do not have pdl they do not have eruptive capacity another condition is called hypophosphatasia hypoless phosphatasia phosphorus so this condition in this condition there is lack of cementum formation cementum is not formed no pdl will not get any place to get attached on through the tooth what will happen there will be no attachment to the tooth and tooth will be lost another condition that is vitamin c is required for synthesis of collagen fibers of pdl if there is not enough vitamin c in your diet what will happen reduced collagen fiber again there will be loss of tooth so we can say that this disturbance can happen in many conditions one related to bone is osteoclast defect one related to cementum is hypophosphatasia one related to pdl is vitamin c deficiency now the third function eruptive now the cells fibers and vascular elements they can play an important role together in the eruption mainly it is by the cells which have actin filaments contractile function so these cells they contact the ground substance extracellular matrix and when they get the signal they also contact each other and they generate the forces and these forces then pull out the tooth from the socket so they help in the eruption of the tooth and this theory this is this explains the periodontal ligament traction theory of the tooth eruption fourth is nutritive blood vessels in the periodontal ligament provide nutrition to all 
the synthetic cells resorptive cells as well as the cells which are present in the bone which are called osteocytes and the cells which are present in the cementum which are called cementocytes if you remember that we have read that these cementocytes have their processes directed toward BDL to get nutrition and also it helps in removing the waste product from these cells which is passed through the blood vessels in the PDL. What happens if there is excessive force on the tooth in one region? The blood vessels in that region will get occluded. There will be no blood supply in that region and the cells in that region will die because of lack of blood supply. So heavy force will cause blood vessel occlusion and cell necrosis in that region of the PDL. Sensory function, a special type of function of PDL where the nerves, where the sensory receptors in the PDL can detect even the delicate forces, even the slightest change, slightest movement of the tooth, displacement of the tooth is detected by these receptors in the PDL. So this type of sensation is called proprioception proprioception very very important that is these sensations for touch and pressure are detected by receptors in periodontal ligament you might have seen if you just keep food just keep food on your tooth you can tell by just the touch whether it is a soft food or whether it is a hard food that is because of your periodontal ligament receptors and also if you're trying to chew trying to bite on a hard food so suppose there is a nut what will happen you are putting a lot of pressure but then it is not getting chewed what will happen there will be pain that means your periodontal ligament receptors are giving you signal that don't eat this food it can cause injury so they are trying to protect you against injury so that is how it works that is sensations of touch and pressure on the teeth are received by these receptors how these sensory receptors they are dependent upon the connective tissue cells in the PDL that is stromal cells so these stromal cells will create membranous tension whenever there is displacement and then they will try to adapt and then those changes but are taken by these sensory signals so let's see how it happens so this is the connective tissue cell it has actin filament stromal cell and then whenever there is mechanical displacement of the tooth there is slight changes so it is perceived as tension membranous tension inside the cell it tries to adapt to this tension how by increasing the sensitivity to this tension by maintaining its contact with the matrix and so that it is trying not to rupture its membrane under this pressure also the actin filaments which are present in this cell they become cytoprotective these pro they protect these cells they make them desensitized against more forces so these receptors these signals are dependent upon these changes inside these cells and based on the dependent on the actin system so that is how these senses are perceived and thus they help they protect us from the excessive masticatory forces so they have mechano protection now coming to the last function physical so it is protection of the blood vessels and nerves from mechanical forces plus the ability the resistance of the pdl to impact from these occlusal forces to prevent the impact of these occlusal forces by transmitting these forces to the bone with the help of fibers it is called shock absorption function and this uh, as we have already explained in the first function that is support that the forces are transmitted by the help of the fibers explained by tensional theory and viscoelastic theory so that is the that explains the sixth function that is shock absorption of the pdl now we have come to the summary of the functions of pdl six functions first is support that is mainly by the oblique fibers principal fibers of pdl that is they transmit the forces onto the surrounding bone second is homeostasis that is a balance is maintained between the formation and resorption of the periodontal ligament structures with the help of cells third is eruptive that is ligament helps in providing generating eruptive forces which helps in the eruption of the tooth fourth is nutritive that is blood vessels in the pdl provides nutrition and removes waste product from the cells fifth is sensory that is mainly through the receptors in pdl which provides proprioception that means they detect even the slightest of the changes in the tooth movement then the last one is physical which says that it can act as shock absorber now let's check what have you learned now i am going to give you a statement you have to tell me which function of the pdl is described by that statement first pdl supports the tooth during function by transmitting forces to bone so what function is that it also maintains the width of pdl space what function is that 
forces for eruption of tooth are generated by PDL. PDL provides nutrition to the cells. What function is that? Then PDL senses slightest displacement of tooth. What function of PDL is that? Then provides protection to blood vessels and nerves and shock absorber. And what function of PDL is that? So do let me know in the comment section below what are your answers. So if you really enjoyed the video, do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends. Keep watching, keep learning and keep smiling. Good luck for your exams and see you in the next video soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.